Here's a video about uh, kit bashing a Space Marine Captain. Specifically, I'm making this one to fit within my Emperor's Children theme. Um, he's going to be a uh, Blood Angel. Um, so, uh, for instance, I've got this cool Blood Angel sword here that I'm going to uh, cut the cut the blade off and add to this hilt over here to make him uh, look like uh, or make it uh, counts as Valor's Edge which is their, uh, one of their pieces of war gear that they get in the Codex. Um, so he's going to kind of fit in the vein of the other guys. The, um, I like to, for all of the HQs for my Blood Angels, I like to use this, this particular shoulder pad that has the double wing going on. Um, wing motif works really well for Blood Angels, of course, but it also works really well for Emperor's Children. Um, what, you could even you could even argue that it's better for for the Emperor's children. They just they really like to. Uh, I mean, they were the ones that got to wear the Aquilia um, pre heresy, and they really like that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, I have a plethora of different bits here. Um, when you're going and trying to kit bash and build Emperor's children models style models for pre heresy, the bits you want to look for are definitely like I said, Blood Angel, but also Dark Angel. This one comes from Dark Angels. So does this. Um, because they also have a lot of the wing motif. And if you, you can't quite tell in the detail here, but this is a raven wing symbol on the side of that bolt pistol. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully shave off the sword, and rather than there being like a fist, I'm going to try to shave it to make it look like it's a triple claw. Um, and uh, when I paint that up, it should look like an emperor's children symbol on the side of that bolt pistol rather than a... Uh, Ravenwing. So, um, wish me luck. I'll show you guys um, some finished product, one, or part, at least partway through. One of the things I'm going to show you also is the I'm going to add a cloak to this guy's back. He, as, as you can tell with the model, I've got him leaning extremely far forward on the base. This, of course, being a sanguinary guard model. Um, I uh, like to use those for my HQs, which I've said before. Um, on the front of the model, you might not be able to quite tell the detail, but the skull that's in the middle of the, the wings there on him, I've actually cut that off and uh, tried to add some glue to it in a layer that will... Um, would, you, can, you can attempt this, it doesn't always work, and I'll have to show it in a how-to video, but what you do is you add a drop of glue, which of course beads up into a rounded shape, and then you can try to add some accelerant to it, and if you do it in the right way, the accelerant will harden the bead of glue in that rounded shape, which is perfect for gems. So I tried to replace the skull with this uh, gem shape. There's varying levels of success with that. I find that I like to do that because it's, uh, it's quicker than trying to do it with green stuff, and I have mixed blessings with the green stuff anyway. Um, try it out if you're interested. It may work for you, it may not. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to, uh, I, like I said, add a plastic card, uh, cloak, which I'll show you, because he's, you know, kind of, I uh, got this pose of, I'm running forward, about to go get somebody, and, um, so I think that that will show, well, the cloak will definitely add to the effect, make it look like he's in motion, so. Okay, here is the model with the cape that I made for it and a loincloth too, you can kind of see it in there. I've um, Now what I've done here is uh, used a thin plastic card and then heated it up with an, a lighter to kind of give it this flowy look. It allows you to really kind of play around and, and make some really fun uh, shapes and make it look like it's in motion and stuff. I think it's a really nice quick way, um, you know, if you either don't have the skill or the time to do the green stuff, um, version. Now, the, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. If you have the skill to do a green stuff cloak or or a green stuff like robes, loincloth, go for it. That's going to look. It's gonna paint up better. This 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 can look like cloth and cloth in motion. It just doesn't paint up very well in comparison to something that you can really uh, put some more ridges and stuff into. But for somebody like myself who doesn't have that skill, uh, this still looks good, and I still enjoy painting it. And um, and you know, one thing it does have over the green stuff is that it looks thin. It looks more like 
the, the, the shape and size of cloth rather than this kind of, um, well, for instance, here's a, here's a new, one of the new Blood Angel Terminator models. And that looks really cool. It's got that really cool ridged look there on the cloth and loincloth in between his legs there. But frankly, it's even even this thinner, brand new, brand new stuff that came out. It's still very thick in comparison to what like an actual piece of cloth would look like. So you know that's one advantage that this has over it. But you know the sculpted stuff does does do a, a really paint up really well. So anyway, there it is partway through. And here he is with all the bits glued on with his pose and stuff, and the sword has been uh, pinned in like that, so even though it had a, like a, just a small connection there at the hilt, it has been pinned, so hopefully it will stay. Um, so he definitely looks kind of like he's in motion, he's got the sweeping blade, and I'm dropping the model, and uh, he's basically done, ready to go, except for I need to add some stuff to his base, and I'm also going to add some green stuff to his shoulder, to give him a look like this. Let me show you here with another model. A look like that. So it kind of has a, like a claw, like I've shown in some other videos, or what I do with my HQs. So um, I'm going to add that green stuff. I'm going to do the base, which is going to be kind of like a um, palace, ruined palace look um, to fit in with the theme. And then he'll be ready for paint. And um, I'll probably just do a video showing again where I do some layers of paint, maybe how I'm doing some of the paint on this guy. His armor is going to be like a white, like an off-white with some alabaster, and then uh, some uh, some stuff similar to to this. Let me show you my Tico model, Captain Tico of the uh, the Blood Angels and then Death Company. So the camera really doesn't do it very much justice. But what you can, what you'll be able to maybe tell, I'll get some pictures when once I get some camera camera stuff going. Um, I'll, he'll be painted similar to this, is what the is what the captain's gonna look like. But anyway, it's like very like light layers of white, kind of up from tan, starting with a tan, and then layering up to this white look here. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hey there, guys. Here's the finished result on this captain or character whatever you want you know it's going to be a captain he's going to be counts as blood angel rules um using a different camera we'll have to see if the quality on this is better enough that i'm just going to have to use this camera from now on um so here's the green stuff uh that i added for the claw there to give it the claw look i also went ahead and added a three a numeral three there to the top to his top thing to you know, show off that he's supposed to be Emperor's Children Legion, um, and then I gave him a base. There's this uh, some corking, and then I added the like some. This is like plexiglass, thin plexiglass. I guess it's not plexiglass. It's some some sort of clear plastic. Um, and uh, I've got it cut off at angles and edges, put together like the tile flooring on some of my other basing, and then just grit for the rest of him. Um, it'll look like he's kind of a ruined, the ruined palace flooring and stuff. Um, just lots of motion in there, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.